Hey, hey, what's up, Credit Movement community? It's Ryan. This is episode 61 of the Daily Credit Minute, and we are continuing this series on the components of the credit score, uh, what factors into your score, how your credit score breaks down. 30% or 165 points is revolving debt ratios. Now, this is credit cards mainly. There's other things that factor in. We won't get too much into that in this episode um, because it's things like home equity lines of credit. But for all intents and purposes, uh, your credit card balances, you want below 30% of what your limit is. For instance, a $1,000 limit, keep it below $300. Now, let's say you've got a $910 balance on a $1,000 card. That's killing you, you guys, because you're literally above 90% utilized. So it's tiered. So once you're above 30%, it hurts you a little bit. When you get above 50, it hurts you a little more, above 70. So you want to get it below those thresholds, if at all possible. Now, again, let's say you've got a $910 balance and you don't have $620 or whatever to pay it down below, below $300. What can you do? you can potentially balance transfer to a different credit card to reduce the amount of utilization, right? So let's say you get another $1,000 card and you transfer, say, $450 of that balance to a different card. Now you've got two cards with roughly $450. You're below 50% on each. That's better than having one above 90, if that makes sense. Um, You can also just raise the limit. Let's say you've got great payment history on that Capital One uh, MasterCard but you got a $910 balance on a $1,000 limit. You don't have the money to pay it down. Raise the limit to $3,000. You've done the exact same thing and reduced the amount of utilization. So you guys, keep in mind, your ratios are on individual cards as well. It's not necessarily cumulative. So aim to get as many of your cards below 30% as possible. Like our page, share our posts, and as always, guys, keep coming back for more.